Lions. Last year they won the 6A title, but this year they have a new head coach. Kenny Simpson takes over for Mark Kelly. Tough start for Coach Simpson and the Lions. They played at Cabot. Troy Lynch was there and has more. It was a great night of football here at Panther Stadium in Cabot, Arkansas. The Panthers taking on the defending 6A champions, the Searcy Lions. Now, these two teams both have a lot of firepower, so you knew that there was going to be a lot of highlights and what I like to call the Big Cat Bowl. Let's check out the highlights right now. There were more masks than a Halloween party, but hey, that's what pandemic football looks like. Cabot hosting the reigning 6A champs, Searcy, in the season opener. Hey, first play of the game, Cabot's Tyler Gee, he's feeling good and going big. But the deep ball intercepted by Kylie Parker. Big turnover for the Lions, and you know what? It will result in points. On the following drive, Kyler Tangler finds a wide open Daniel Perry. And I don't know if he dances, but he waltzes into the end zone for six. They would miss the PAT, so that's all they would get. Six nothing, Lions. Let's get a social distancing update. That is Cabot's crap. All right, back to football. And the Panther faithful will like this. Tangler looking for Perry again, but gets picked off this time. So Cabot is back in business. G looking for some redemption, and boy, does he get it. Kyler Carmack with only one hand and takes it in to even the odds. What a play. And the Panthers take a 7-6 lead in the first quarter. But call Daniel Perry Simba because he's the Lion King. Gets a huge hole from the O-line, tries to tiptoe in, but is knocked down at the one-yard line, but he would punch it in the next play. Cersei retakes the lead 12 to 6. That's the halftime score, but of course it was a tale of two halves as the Panthers rattle off, I don't even know how many touchdowns, but they come out with the win 35 to 18, and Coach Scott, he couldn't have been happier with his second half performance. Well, we finally settled down and took care of the ball offensively. I thought our defense played pretty well all night. Uh, we turned the ball over three or four times in the first half. We looked like the first ball game. Uh, and give, give Cersei credit, they played really well in the first half. Uh, really pleased with the second half effort though. It's just awesome to get to play ball. One, any, you know, we've got to get better obviously, uh, but for, for a group of kids, uh, you know, that across the state, across the country, everybody kind of got shut down athletically in March. Tonight was an awesome night. So down go the defending 6A state champions. The Panthers come out on top. Big, big second half for Cabot. And that was just such a fun game to watch. It was the battle of 7A against 6A. But this time, 7A came out on top. At Panther Stadium, I'm Troy Lynch for Fearless Friday. Wes, back to you. Coach Reed, it was an awesome night. Cabot plays at Jonesboro next week. Cersei hosts Little Rock Christian.